Hello Cancer, welcome to another love reading. This one's gonna be all about your person, the person that you are thinking about or connecting with at this time. What are they thinking about you? What are their intentions towards you? Keep in mind that these readings are meant to be general, so they cannot and will not resonate with every Cancer watching. All right, let's get into this for Cancer Spirit. Tell me about Cancer's energies in this connection. What are Cancer's energies in this connection? Oh, got two. Frog and Swan, beautiful. The frog is all about healing and the swan is all about kind of um, artistic creativity. Interesting. So let me look at the swan card real quick for you. Effortless creativity, sensitive mystic, elegant power. The swan represents height, heightened creativity. Ready to take us there to the fluid realm of writing, creating, and reflecting. Potent and healing energy is not to be taken for granted or taken lightly. When the swan card appears, your soul is calling for attention for solo time. An inner voice is waiting to be heard, an inner vision likely to be revealed. Interesting, Cancer. And then we also have the frog energy, which is clearing, cleansing, and healing. Um, cleansing and rejuvenation, self-care, cleanse, forgive, and release. So I feel like you're going through some sort of, you, either you want to really heal a connection that you've been manifesting, or you're undergoing some sort of healing and rejuvenation for yourself, taking, you know, self-care, figuring out what you truly want, Let me look at this one again. For some reason, if I could, where it is, I just lost it. I feel like you're, yeah, it's almost like you're really reflecting on either how to heal a connection or how to heal from something that has happened to you. Okay, let's move on here to your person. Tell me about Cancer's person, Spirit. Tell me about Cancer's person. What are their thoughts or feelings? What energies are they bringing to this connection? Cancer's person. Okay, Lamb, I just, um, Sagittarius just had their person get the same card. This is a bearer of important uh, of an important message, the Lamb. And the message could be coming from a complete stranger, but in this instance, because this is your person's energies, it's coming from them. Patient, peaceful, prophetic is the key words here for the Lamb. I know because I just read them for Sagittarius, <laughs> but... Um, I feel like there's something that your person wants to say here. So let's get into the tarot for Cancer Spirit. I'm using the Light Seers Tarot today for Cancer. This may or may not resonate for you, Cancer. Just because you're watching this video does not mean this is your story. So don't try to make it fit if it's not. Uh, just check back next week or check your other placements if they're more prominent in your birth chart for cancer. Let's start with you, cancer. Huge thank you to everyone who has shared, commented, subscribed. I read all of your comments. Thank you so much for your support. All right, for cancer spirit. Tell me about cancer's energies in this connection. Interesting. Ten of Pentacles reversed. So there's some sort of um, loss, instability, 
family issues, uh, financial difficulty. What else for Cancer? Two of Wands. Looking out at the potential of something, wanting more. Seeking other options or evaluating options, wondering what else is out there. That's the Two of Wands. What else for Cancer? What are their energies at this time? Five of Cups. Sadness, regret, disappointment, missing someone. You could be missing this person. Tell me about Cancer's person. What are their energies in this connection? The person that Cancer is dealing with. What are their energies in this connection spirit? Eight of Pentacles, wanting to put in a work effort what are Cancer's energies in this connection? Ten of Wands, uh, responsibilities, burdens, feeling uh, a heavy weight. Almost done with something, reaching their destination, nearing the finish line. I feel like a person's been working on something here. Whoa. My card's just went crazy. Tell me more for, oh my gosh. Tell me more for Cancer's person. What are their thoughts or feelings towards Cancer or this connection? What are their energies in this connection? Higher font reverse, Taurus energy here. Broken commitments, rebelling against what's expected. For some of you, this is a divorce. Like your person's going through a divorce. What are the mutual energies here? What are the mutual energies? Let me move this over. What are the mutual energies for Cancer and this person they are in a connection with? What are the mutual energies here between these two? Queen of Cups Reverse, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. What are the energies here in this connection? Mutual energies, please. For Cancer and this person, for the mutual energies. Knight of Pentacles Reverse. So whatever is delayed, whatever is not happening, whatever opportunity feels like it's taking forever, I feel like it's causing emotional instability, um, disappointment, heartbreak. Um, this Queen of Cups reverse is someone who is attached emotionally, um, but it, it's almost like she's, she's off balance. Her intuition is blocked. She's not able to make the best decisions. Um, her emotions are causing some sort of um, blockage. And I feel like it has to do with whatever's not happening, whatever's taking a long time here with the Knight of Pentacles reversed. So let's see, let's clarify. Spirit, help me clarify these energies for Cancer. Let me clarify these energies, please, Spirit. Tell me about the Queen of Cups reverse. Why is the Queen of Cups reverse? What's this about? Five of Pentacles. Feeling abandoned, left behind, feeling like you're struggling, um, feeling lonely. Difficulty. It's a difficult situation. Tell me more for the Queen of Cups reverse. Why is the Queen of Cups reverse? Eight of Cups reverse. Oops. Eight of Cups reversed. So 
this queen of cups reversed and i say this queen of cups reversed because this is mutual energy so you cancer are here and so is your person also just because i'm saying this is you cancer and this is your person here on this side does not mean that it can't be flipped so feel free to reverse the roles if they resonate more because energy can be flipped but to avoid confusion i'm just going to stick to this is you and this is them um, but in the mutual energies whoever is um emotionally uh unbalanced or, or or uh experiencing an emotional imbalance here i think it has to do with the loss of something the struggle the difficulty of this situation and I feel like someone, I uh, this Queen of Cups is waiting for someone to return to her. Tell me about this Knight of Pentacles reverse. I'm not sure what's happening with my cards. Tell me about the Knight of Pentacles reverse. Why is the Knight of Pentacles reverse? Nine of Swords. Yeah, there's worry, there's stress, there's anxiety about what's not taking place here. What's what's delayed, what's not happening. Um, an opportunity that hasn't taken off, a message that hasn't arrived. Tell me more for this Knight of Pentacles reverse. Someone could be guilty, could be feeling guilty or remorse for what's not happening as well. Tell me about the Knight of Pentacles reverse. Yeah. Maybe it has to be a smaller offer. Maybe it needs to start with communication. This page of pentacles is something very small, like let's talk, let's go for a drink, let's go out for coffee. You know, it's it's it does it's not as as uh, solid as the Knight of Pentacles, but maybe this person is is only able to offer you Page of Pentacles. Maybe you can only have right now a very small beginning with someone. So let's look down here. Why is the Ten of Pentacles reversed? The Ten of Pentacles reversed. Ooh, Ace of Swords reversed. There was um, miscommunication, uh, deception, some sort of um, blockage here in terms of the truth. Like it's almost like the truth was blocked or someone was actively deceptive and it brought or broke a commitment or brought instability or brought financial difficulty. Why is the Two of Wands here? Why is the Two of Wands here? You're waiting for someone to come back. You're wondering if you should return to something or if someone's going to return to you. Some of you are dealing with a third party. I have the Three of Pentacles reversed here. Tell me more about this Two of Wands, please. Tell me more about this Two of Wands. Five of Wands reversed. You want to overcome the conflict. You want to overcome the disappointment. You want to uh, have some sort of compromise here. No longer be fighting or competing. Uh, no longer have the conflict be a part of this connection. Tell me about the Five of Cups. Where's the Five of Cups here? Seven of Cups. You're thinking about the past, about the different the different decisions you made, the options you should have evaluated or should have. It's almost like you're you're almost thinking about should I have done something differently? Did I make a bad judgment call? Was this a mistake? Was this all in my head? Um, things like that. Tell me about the Eight of Pentacles. What is your person focused on here? What are they putting an effort in? 
Can we buy the Eight of Pentacles, please? Oh, they want to. Okay. Wow. We got a tower here. They're working on something unexpected. Something that would be a complete shakeup here. Something that maybe will cause something to completely be destroyed to build something new again. Eight of Swords reverse. Someone's breaking free of a mental prison they've been in. No longer overthinking, no longer fearful, no longer feeling like there's no way out. Seeing clearly here with the Eight of Swords reversed. Why is the Ten of Wands here? Oops. Why is the Ten of Wands here? Why is the Ten of Wands here, Spirit? The Fool, yeah. Makes perfect sense. Your person's ready to reach the finish line here, finish this that they've started, bring about this tower, and have a new beginning. Complete blank slate here. Taking a risk. Tell me about the Hierophant reverse. Why is the Hierophant reverse here? Why is the Hierophant reverse? Wow, Three of Swords reverse. Definitely a third party for some of you. Some sort of interference here. I feel like it's another commitment or a marriage. Um, I feel like your person is breaking a commitment with a third party here. Something that wasn't successful. Can I get one more for this higher font reverse? Can I get one more, please? For this higher font reverse. Yeah, look at this. Three of Pentacles reversed. Wow. Something that, that wasn't working and uh, interference. Can I get one more for this higher font reverse, please? What else? What else can you tell me about this higher font reverse spirit? What else can you tell me? The moon reversed. Pisces energy here with the moon reversed. Some sort of illusion coming to light, some sort of um, secret or something hidden coming to coming to the light here, um, and it has to do with an interference, a broken commitment, or someone here I feel is breaking free of a situation that wasn't working that was just an illusion all along, you know? Maybe they cared about appearances. Maybe they cared about um, having things look a certain way and so they, they stuck with something that wasn't good for them. I feel like with the moon reverse and the tower, I don't think you see this coming, Cancer. I feel like this is gonna be a surprise. Like your person has been working in secret like this is a, a big risk that they're taking and i don't think it's like them to do that but i think the situation has hit uh like a breaking point and i think this is this is what you've been wanting you've been wanting something to return to you you've been evaluating the past you've been reflecting trying to heal um, trying to restore balance for yourself but I feel like in the back of your mind, there's always this other person. Um, otherwise, I'll leave it here, Cancer. Thank you so much for watching, for your likes, shares, subscribes. Leave a comment if it resonated for you. I love to hear um, you know, how the stories apply to you or what your story is. And hopefully I'll see you in another video. Take care.